Hey everybody, I just wanted to do an update on my silver dollar that I was treating for a fungal infection. I treated the tank, I don't know, maybe four or five days ago and I've not done a follow-up since. I'm actually in the middle of working on a new project. I got a native tank I'm putting together out of my old gudgeon tank and whenever I get on a new project I tend to focus on that and sort of forget about a lot of other stuff and so I wanted to make sure I did a follow-up on my uh, silver dollar here in case anybody was wondering whatever became of that fungal infection and what became of it was nothing it just cleared up and went away after a couple of days and the fish is looking fine in fact if you saw the video where I treated the tank you will know I use the API fungus cure and that turns your tank uh, really really strange color green and it's a really intense color green it's almost like a fluorescent green color and over time that color just fades away and this is what we're left with i haven't even done a water change since then and this is how the tank looks now so that green color just went away and the markings on the side of the fish went away as well in fact i actually started to notice a little bit of the same sort of marking on the side of another fish but it never really developed into anything and honestly what it put me in the mind of was not so much a fungal infection but it put me in the mind of when my angelfish were being chewed on by my Chinese algae eater that I had at the time. The Chinese algae eater was latching onto the side of the angelfish and scraping their slime coat off. And it wound up doing enough damage that it killed two of my angelfish. For my longtime viewers, uh, you will regret and lament the loss of my uh, albino red-eye angelfish. Absolutely stunning angelfish. And it was killed by that Chinese algae eater and the markings on the side of the uh, silver dollar here looked very reminiscent of sort of that scraping mark that got sort of white and not really fuzzy around the edges but almost looked like raw skin rather than sort of that fuzzy appearance you might expect from the fungal infection but i don't know it's cleared up after a couple of days of fungal treatment so it must have been some sort of fungal infection I don't know but either way the fish looks fine and whatever looked like it may have been starting to develop on the other fish went away too they all look fine I've got no issues with any of the fish in this tank and in fact it is on my agenda tonight to get this tank a uh, nice big fat water change. I'm going to do probably a 40 or 50 percent water change, really clean it out because in addition to the medication that's in there, um, there's also a ton of tannins built up and I haven't done a water change on this tank in a while, so it's ready for a new one. So that's it. That was my update. Whatever it was that was going on with my silver dollar, whether it was a fungal infection or whether it was being scraped on by the um, white sucker fish I have in this tank, I don't know. Now, I suspect it probably was not the white sucker fish. You can actually see if that big minnow would get out of the way. You can see the sucker fish in the back right there. Uh, that's a pretty big fish. And I, I don't know. I've never seen it going after any of the other fish or harassing them. I used to see the Chinese algae eater uh, going after the other fish. So I don't really think it was that. And again, if it was, it was super duper coincidental that the couple of days after I treated for a fungal infection, it stopped happening. So I'm still going to chalk it up to a fungal infection, but it was kind of interesting to see that that happened. And in the meantime, I've actually been putting a little more algae wafers and a little more sinking shrimp pellets in this tank making sure uh, I get more food down to the bottom so that if it is that uh, white sucker fish then it will have plenty of food sources and won't need to keep scraping on these flat fish in order to get nutrition so there you go there's my little update and of course make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the updates on this tank or the one I'm working on now if you can hear all that bubbling over there in the background that's me draining the tank right now it's almost empty and then I'm going to be filling it back up so again subscribe you won't miss all that and if you check out my patreon page you will actually find some preliminary videos over there I've already given a few sneak peeks of what it's going to start to look like here pretty soon so check that out if you're interested all right everybody thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I will see you real soon in the next one.